Hello everybody, I am Super Mario Sonic Lover and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Last time we went through Hero Story and now we're going to finally start on Dark Story. So let's do this. Indeed. So, we're finally getting a game where we can play as the bad guys, and it's um, a pretty cool addition, I must say. Like, th when I when I first played this game, I um, actually went to play as the, uh, uh, the bad guys first. I went Dark Story, and then I went Hero, and in some ways it's actually better. I found it was better to do that, which I'll get into later. But yeah, if I think um, the um, the mech style gameplay really works for Eggman here, and unlike unlike Tails, I think it's um, I think it's a lot better designed than the Tails stages were. Not to say that those stages were badly designed, but you can definitely tell that comparing the Tails stages to any other uh, character any other characters levels in this game you can tell that they were those those were made like the uh, they those were made last compared to the uh, anyone anyone else and i've i've heard some from some places that apparently originally it was only going to be sonic knuckles and eggman play, that were going to be playable in this game and they were going to and then they just added shadow rouge and tails at a later point I'm not really sure how that would really work. Maybe Shadow. I, I guess Shadow was just gonna be a, a story thing at first, and maybe still be playable during the finale. Uh, or um, or maybe I I, I don't know. Like may, maybe they would have had it so uh, Sonic, Eggman, Knuckles all had their own stories, or they were all connected to the same. I'm not really sure how how that would work, but it's interesting to think about regardless. But yeah, one thing I will say is you're probably feeling like this looks like the uh, first tail stage, which you you wouldn't necessarily be wrong to to a certain to a certain extent because um, in this in this game. The uh, every okay, so every um, every level is different, but it doesn't it doesn't stop them from reusing certain level uh, themes or areas. So this looks a little bit like a prison lane and stuff like that. And I personally don't mind it too much because uh, each level, although some look similar, they usually have different level, different set pieces to make them stand out from each other enough. Um, like they, they often repeat some set pieces, um, like these little rooms here and stuff like that, but, um, I, th I think they make the levels feel different enough to not make it feel redundant, like playing the same levels, like the exact same levels again in Heroes, for instance. But there we go, first stage done. Also, yes, I know I'm. I know I've been ignoring the the shower, the shower gardens, and like the keys and all that. But I'll I'll be I'll be doing an extra video for that, so don't worry about it. Oh, excuse me. Oh. 
This is the military's top secret weapon. It's a lot smaller than I expected. Enter user data. Enter password. Password is Maria. Maria. Now all I have to do is to place the Chaos Emerald into this console. Yeah, the um, there's going to be a lot more like story in the dark story, like stuff that's more connected to the main plot, I suppose. Now we aren't going to have an actual stage with Shadow for a little while, but we'll at least have a boss with him, and this is more or less a slightly harder ver version of uh, Sonic's first boss. The Really the, on the only things they changed to this guy are the fact that he has a, a plasma charge shot that he's, he might do if I don't kill him first, and yeah this. And he just kind of stands there until he charges up, and I was too late. And that's pretty much it. I, he might, I feel like he might fly around more, but other than that, he's pretty much the same boss, so you don't re really need to worry, worry too much. He actually got a hit on me, that was bad. <laughs> yeah, it's been a little bit since I played, so... I think he might actually... I think on the last hit he actually stays in the air forever. I could be wrong. So you're gonna have to use the boxes. Destroying that dark robot was spectacular. How'd you get out of that pit? You are the military's top secret weapon. But what did you mean when you said you will grant me a wish? Bring more Chaos Emeralds. Shadow? Apparently, Shadow's a genie. I'll be waiting for you in the central control room on the Space Colony Ark. Ark. Yeah, so cutscenes like this just changed the music to the other character's theme. But other than that, it's pretty much the same. What? I did that to prevent the Master Emerald from being stolen, you idiot. If it's in pieces, I can restore it. And by the way, that's not your Emerald. Give me to it once I get back to the base. see indeed so now we're back to uh, treasure hunting and if you remember from the last story um, 
I'm a lot more forgiving of these than most people are. So, basically, how Rouge, Rouge's stages go is that um, they more or less work the same as Knuckles, although they usually have a certain gimmick. Um, some small, some big. This one just has a second area that you use a turtle to swim to. And, I mean, I'm, I'm totally fine with most of them. Um, they add an extra, extra layer, and I guess I can understand why pe some people wouldn't be such a, such a fan of some of them. But, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't really mind it. Alright, it's gonna be... Alright, cool. Yeah, just, like always, the best... A, be a good way to do it would be just grab one hint, uh, think about where it is, and then just go there. And I mean, there's always there's always going to be those times when you don't know where it's, t where it's talking about for sure. But it doesn't it doesn't mean you can't go for more hints because you know, especially if you're a new time player. Like if you're a new time player, you. I think it's expected for you to use as many hints as possible because there's no way like anyone expects you to know everything on your first run. Uh, I, I know it's around here somewhere. Oh, okay, that works. A red flower in the water. Alright, so it has to be on the other side. Oh, is it this one? The, uh... Sphinx head thing? No. Alright, it, it can be... It is possible to accidentally hit, uh, go for a hint when you don't want to, if you're trying to, like, dash. So, you have to be careful about that. Alright, it's in... under... here somewhere. Oh, there we go. Hiding behind the two, sp uh, hiding in between the springs. I see. That should be an A. Yes. How was that? Perfect, like me. But I, I, w I do so. I would say I, I like uh, uh, Rouge's stages for the mo for the most part. They'll never find my base. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my face on everything. They'll never find it. Oh man, like. <laughs> okay, that 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 was pretty bad. All right, um. But yeah, like. Do you really expect no one to find this place when you put your face on everything? Like, man, there's a there's a point when you're so. I need to stop making stupid mistakes. Um, there's a point where your self obsession just makes it easier for the good guys to catch you. Yeah, I, it's been a little while, so I'm, a, I can't, I'm a little bit rusty. If this was a siege recording, I would have restarted this by now. But hey, it's all good. But yeah, if I, if I'd have to say, uh, Eggman has my least favorite level tracks, um, with the exception of one very stand. Now, <laughs> with the exception of one very standout theme, um, as well as as well as his main theme, I suppose, um, which is his last level, and we'll, we'll get to that later, le a lot later on. But I really love that track. But for the as for the rest of it, um, it's a lot more quiet compared to the other uh, other genres. 
Um, mainly for the fact that a lot of Eggman's levels play out at, um, in a dark area. Like, Iron Gate, I believe it was called, um, was kind of darkish. This is like at night. The next level will be dark. And, was it? I forget what the. Um, the fourth level is gonna be like actually bright out, brighten up, brightened up, and all that. And then the last level will be on the arc. Well, actually, no, there are two levels on the arc, but the last one is outside. But yeah, it's going for. I, I think it. I think it works. I think it works for Eggman as a character, and especially for this game. But it's not something you'd hear, hear me listen to, uh, like, often. Because sometimes, uh, game music, uh, not not always, but so sometimes, uh, they're better listened to, like, when you're playing. But yeah. And it, it really shows that you... <coughs> like, the novel design is trying to be a bit restrained here because you don't have the booster. So, <coughs> it doesn't expect you to do crazy jumps. Oh. Which is a good thing that it didn't, like they made it so you get the the jet engine, or the <coughs> the hover relatively early for Tails. I think you get, Mission Street I believe is the second level, uh, second Tails stage. I don't think you get the booster in, in uh, for Eggman until the third stage for, for him. And we're good. Yosh. Nice. Now you know why I am the best. It's a good thing we kept dying at the start, so it didn't bother. It didn't matter. Chaos Emerald in the Space Colony Ark. Hmm. I've got to find out just what's going on up there. Oh, right, we get to play a shadow next. We interrupt this broadcast for an important news flash. <laughs> there has been a break in at the Federal Reserve Bank today. Mysteriously, they didn't even say that yet. According to eyewitnesses at the scene, the suspect was identified as the world-renowned hero, Sonic the Hedgehog. <coughs> the suspect was seen fleeing the scene, destroying the reserve's guard robots in his path. Stay tuned Sounds for more, more details. Like the work of Shadow. I can kind of understand him cutting them off there. I've always thought that flashback looked like a train station for some reason. Like the underground. stage where we get to play as Shadow. And unfortunately a level that uh, got really butchered in Generations 3DS, but 
Uh, that's neither here nor there. I don't know if I'll ever cover that game because that'll be a lot more trouble than it's worth right now. Uh, not that I don't like Carl uh, Generations 3DS. I think it's a decent enough game, but yeah, I don't really ha I don't really plan to do that anytime soon because um, I don't like the idea of having to uh, use a camera to like run up against a 3DS and a ca 3DS capture card is like like 800 pounds or something stupid like that and. Yeah, I don't want to fork up that much money. At, at least right now, I don't. I I don't have the best paying job for something like that. So, you know. But yeah, Meridical Highway. Um, I think this is a really cool introduction to. Uh, well, we got to play a shadow a little bit, but this is his first real stage, and I think it's a really great introduction to, like. A, a really great sh uh, first stage for Shadow, I think. Um, it doesn't really ask for anything too crazy. Um, it has some cool little uh, alternate pathways you can get to if you're skilled enough. And just some cool little secrets you can you can find to get more uh, like skill points and the like. And the flame ring I got is not intended for you to get until you get l the light speed dash. Um, but if you do a world, world time spin dash jump, you can get it really early, which I did. And doing s little sequence breaks like that in Sonic games are just really satisfying to do. <coughs> so for instance, a one secret in this is that if you... Okay, good. If you um, use the rail for the Golden Gate Bridge, like, backwards, like, you, if you go the other way, you'll find a secret pathway to Mystic Melody, which will lead to the Hidden Chow in the third mission. So, you know, stuff like that you can look out for and find hidden goodies. And if I... This one's a little bit weird to get to. Like, you don't get the bounce bracelet with the uh, shadow. So you kind of have to... Wait, it's a, like, oh, easier way to do this. Because this does not look feel like the way to go about it. Or maybe... Because mm. I know there's something you can get. Like, things you can get from... Oh. Oh! I see. That's actually very cool. The camera's not really working with me, though. <laughs> right, I'm gonna hold forward. I guess I just have to keep holding forward forever. Yeah. I missed them, but yeah, you saw the items there. Okay. That's pretty cool. I didn't actually know you could... I thought you had to jump on the sidebars. And as you can probably tell, that's very risky to do. But yeah, Radical Highway. I think it's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool level. A great first stage for Shadow. Nice. Ultimate victory. And I will, I will, I will admit, like some ideas that were brought into the gen, the generations version were cool, like jumping on the the what? the uh, blimp and stuff like that. That was cool, but it, it it's too it's too blurred and it's not it's not as interesting, I think. Control. 
so now we know that the um, Knuckles and Rouge cutscene happened before this, so that's interesting. Are we doing the uh, Rouge one? Okay, cool. Okay, I was wondering if this was first or the Eggman stage. So this is a much better version of Death Chamber, as you can see from just looking at the floor. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna have to find our first upgrade for Rouge here. So if you just go, get to go around and until we find a secret passage we can open up with a missile I believe and then we can get the pick nails I think they're called but, um, but yeah like this level is so much more fast faster paced it's so much more fast paced than uh, death chamber ever was because there is a lot smaller um, there's no, like, hourglasses you need to worry about, so you can just run through really fast. And th there's still not a lot of, gl uh, glide, uh, gliding room, but you don't really need that because, because there's so, like, little, that, because you can just run through the room so fast that it doesn't really even matter. Anyway, so we found the camera. <laughs> Found the pick nails. You can dig into the ground and walls. Yeah. Oh. So we just, like knuckles, you can just dig now. And there's always going to be at least one key that requires a digging, requires you to dig somewhere. A dark room. It's probably talking about one of these side areas like this. But yeah, the gimmick of this stage is that this little beetle is chasing you around the stage. Well, no, it's not chasing you. It's like, it's like, um, one, set to one specific pathway, and, um, to make it, make it go, like, ignore you if it finds you, just, uh, you, all you have to do is just end up going to a shadow or something, basically. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, cool. Uh, Alright, cool. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Like, again, like, rings. Dark Sonic. What? Uh, but yeah, it, again, it doesn't really ma matter um, about getting hit that, mu uh, that much in these the treasure hunting stages for, for A ranks. Like, all you, all you really need to worry about is, um, like, how fast you're going to get the uh, emerald shards or the keys, and don't, make sure you don't use, like, too many hints. You can use quite a lot, but not too, too many. I don't really know what Dark Sonic is supposed to mean. Well, it's around here somewhere. It's clearly not. Oh, was there a Sonic p uh, face on there? I didn't see it, but I'm assuming. Oh, okay, cool. How was that? Perfect, like me. But yeah, if you're diligent enough, you can still beat these levels in around f uh, two to like three to five minutes on average, I say. You can you can shave off more time if you're if you're skilled enough, but you know. It's a space transporter. The destination has been set to Ark. Wasn't that space colony shut down over fifty years ago? What's he doing out there anyway? Doesn't matter. It's my mission to find out what he's up to. Yeah. Now we get to play as the Eggster again. <laughs> 